Rail passengers faced disruption today after emergency restrictions were placed on the crumbling station hotel in Ayr. The local council has extended an exclusion zone around the building, which was already subject to a danger notice after its private landlord failed to carry out safety works. Bruce McKenzie has the latest. It's one of Ayr's most iconic buildings and in its heyday welcomed visitors to the town. But today it's stopping people getting here after the station hotel's crumbling walls closed the railway line. It's ridiculous that they have let it go at this. It's sad. It's not a good welcoming to the town of Ayr. I'm born and bred and it's a total disgrace. The best thing that could happen would be for it to fall down, but quickly. Bought by a Malaysian businessman around eight years ago, it's deteriorated rapidly. There's a lot of anger from rail passengers, but also from the citizens of Ayr. They say more should have been done to make this building safe. But that anger is mirrored by the local council, which says it's done everything it can to compel the owner to improve the condition of the building. It says pieces of decorative ironwork like this are at the mercy of gravity. We had to use public money to protect the area. So we have done everything we can within our power to make sure that people are safe. We have been working on this proactively. The first time that we issued a dangerous buildings notice was way back in 2013. Local business is also suffering, like the coffee seller with a stall trapped on the platform. This is me in my ninth week and unfortunately I have not earned one single penny in the nine weeks. As you can see looking down the rank, we're all sitting here doing nothing. There's no trains operating so they're not coming to the front of the rank. The cordon is likely to stay in place for some time, with a report not expected by the council until November. Bruce McKenzie, STV News in Ayr.